how's it going? This is uh, Marty Kokish and welcome to Marty's Garage. Um, I kind of forget where I was at the last video and I'm too lazy to go inside upstairs out of my computer and look. So I want to make sure I'm catching everything so uh, I'll just start where I am now and I plan on getting a bunch of stuff done tonight so um, yeah this way I'll, I'll get it all. So um, let's say uh, I'm just kind of cleaning everything up in the engine bay here. Um, I uh, uh, pulled the little brake distribution unit thingy out and uh, just kind of pulling back the wiring harness. And uh, let's see, let's go over here. I dropped the steering column so you can see on the engine side of things, um, there's a rack and pinion down there. Uh, and the shaft just goes up to the steering column and this U-joint uh, just connects here and uh, this end would connect to the steering column and to get this off I just had to loosen this up all the way and then kind of just pry this apart with a screwdriver a little bit to give it some room and then uh, on the inside here there was just uh, there's just some bolts up here I think we have three of them here and then uh, you can see that hole right there. We've got three bolts there that just came out and then the, uh, the whole assembly just slid out. Um, Got to disconnect the ignition and the uh, turn signal wiper uh, wiring. Uh, and I just left that on there. It's, uh, over here right now. Um, so, I don't know. Figured no need to take that stuff off, I guess. <laughs> So, and then uh, I also, uh, those, uh, these guys right here, these are what connect, uh, uh, these connect up to these vents that were formerly right here. These guys just pull right out. So, that wasn't, that wasn't too crazy. And so, <clears throat> now that I got the steering column out of the way and disconnected and stuff, I've kind of pulled back the wiring harness. <clears throat> and you can see how the, the wiring harness and this car runs. Um, I don't know which which part to call the the beginning, so I'll just start kind of here. It kind of starts over here by the headlights, feeds out through here into this uh, uh, fender, connects to the headlights. Then it comes around underneath, um, uh, connects to the other headlights, the horn. <coughs> then back here. Uh, this is kind of where all the magic happens. Uh, fuse block, formerly up here, uh, connects to that. Um, we've got wires that are going down, connecting to various parts of the engine, the starter, the uh, uh, alternator and stuff. And so, a uh, bunch of stuff going on there. And uh, the harness kind of splits right here. So, one part of it is right here feeds down and uh, that part runs underneath the car and then uh, comes back out right here and uh, this is what uh, runs our all our lights and stuff in the back here and as you can see this one's been this is one of the things I had to fix to get the car uh, drivable again but these these wires have been spliced and re-spliced and spliced again by however many owners and it's 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 a shoddy scenario <laughs> I guess you could say so I might uh, wiring harnesses are kind of a a, a spendy piece um, so I you know I, I'd like to do it but I don't know. At, at this point, I'm just focused on getting the body nice and rust free. So, that must, some lights just fell off my roof or something. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and so, uh, so where the, where the harness kind of split up here, um, and we went down to that, I'll call it the rear harness, I don't know the proper terms, but uh, this one just kind of uh, feeds through the firewall right there uh, and it uh, comes out this other side right behind the uh, the washer motor and from there it goes over to the other side and uh, connects to all our 
ignition and wiper switches and gauges and whatnot. Uh, there's a chunk that comes down right here, goes to the radio and cigarette lighter, hazard switch, all that fun stuff. So um, that's the that's the wiring harness. So I, I think I'm I'm gonna have to get that. I think in order to get this out, I'm gonna have to remove the uh, the wiper motor, which which I'm gonna do anyway. So that's no biggie. Um, so I think that that kind of brings us up to speed on where things are at. Uh, maybe I'll talk about all these lines I have pointing a million different directions. Like right here, we've got the gas line, so that goes underneath down towards the rear um, into the gas tank and uh, let's see we've got another one here I think this one comes from the overflow uh, what is it what do you call it uh, I think that comes from this guy over here this is uh, where uh, excess fuel and stuff uh, overflows up into if you uh, fill your tank all the way up to the top and uh, gas expands and needs somewhere to go or else you'd have an exploded gas tank. So uh, uh, I believe that's where it goes. So this would funnel fumes into the um, uh, emissions canister. And so um, brake lines are right here. Uh, these two. Wow, I'll, I'll just kind of talk about how, how the brakes work on this car. Um, might get a better visual um, if I took the wheels off and stuff, but for starters, um, <clears throat> we've got uh, this guy right here. This is the, uh, the master cylinder. And uh, this guy right here, if you can hear that, that's the, that's the brake pedal down here. So when you step on your brake, it, uh, it'll push this in, and this is basically a piston and in here is our brake fluid, which is, uh, uh, I think it makes it a little bit easier to think of it as uh, hydraulic fluid. And uh, we've got a line that goes out of it here, comes out here. And normally there's, let me see, um, let me just grab it. There's a little distribution thing. Um, it's all brass and pretty like. Uh, Oh, here it is. I've got it sitting out right now. So this, I actually looked up the price on one of these things, and this little thing costs like $400. So I shine mine up all nice. So it looks more like $400 now. <laughs> so this would uh, uh, feed into here, um, and this distributes it to the various brakes. Um, so we've got, uh, so two of these uh, would come out of here. And uh, one goes to one uh, set of brake calipers on the front. This goes to the other. And uh, <clears throat> the other ones then uh, uh, feed back to uh, the rear brakes. Um, so runs underneath the underside of the car, actually, I think right next to the wiring harness that's underneath. <clears throat> and goes to these wires. And these actually have drum brakes. Um, I'll show you that a different time. but. Uh, same deal, it uh, pushes the hydraulic fluid through those lines, um, expands out a little, uh, uh, I don't know, cylinder on the bottom of the uh, drum brakes and pushes out the shoes. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get more into brakes later, but uh, I don't know, that's basically how some of this stuff works. But like I said, I've, I'm going to try to do a bunch of stuff tonight, so I just wanted to.